Hi YouTube, welcome to Don's Baking Show. <laughs> Today we're gonna make bacon parmesan cracker things in the oven. So what we're using here is we're using, oh, let me cover the brand. <laughs> this is uh, club crackers. Now if anybody has, has tasted club crackers before, they're wonderfully buttery nightmares. Um, and then of course, Parmesan cheese um, and regular cut bacon. You don't want to go thick cut with this stuff. You want regular cut. You choose your favorite bacon because it's going to seep through and become a bacony goodness. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a teaspoon of Parmesan, flip it over onto a club cracker. Try to keep it tight because we're going to rape, oh, rape them, wrap them. <laughs> with half a strip of bacon and cook them in the oven on 200 for two hours on a broiling pan so, they, so that the bacon can drain away. Now, someone's asked me, why drain away the bacon grease? Wouldn't it be better to just be a bacony, greasy, wonderful hors d'oeuvre? And I say, yes, I think that would be fun. However, I don't want to clog my arteries sooner than they need to be clogged. So. We're gonna try it on the broiling pan. Now I've never cooked these before, but I understand that they are the most yummy thing you will eat all day. So we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to Parmesan my crackers and we will be back shortly to show you the next step. Don, would you mind opening the bacon for me? Do what? Open the bacon. <laughs> open the bacon. You know, with open. scissors and you open it and it... You want me to wash my hands? <laughs> Probably a good plan. No, I want your greasy outside shop hands all over our bacon food. Okay. Probably wouldn't matter. It'll slide down anyway with all the grease. All right. Pro tip. Uh, before cooking, wash your hands. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to wrap them, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Are we on pause? Nope. Okay. I have... Is this classic pork belly four, bacon? Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Mm, this... Mm, that smells good. <laughs> hey. This is classic American breakfast bacon. I'm not sure what it looks like in another country, but I'm sure you can find it. So you need 14 pounds of bacon? <laughs> no, I need seven slices of bacon cut in half, please. Okay. Let's see, two, four, three, five, exactly seven slices, I think. Okay, well, we'll find out if your math is right today. Okay. Okay. I think that's roughly in half. All right, well, we're going to go for it. Okay. okay. So, I don't know if you could, YouTube can see me, but there we go. All right. Oh. So, what do we do now? We move this out of the way. Move that out of okay. the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab this guy, and we're going to start from underneath. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to wrap it around with this. I'm trying to keep all of my delicious Parmesan in. Ta-da! And we're gonna place it on the baking sheet. Is this a greased cookie sheet, baking sheet? No, it's Un absolutely not greased. Ungreased baking sheet. Yes. Uh, Broiling pan. Be, yeah, it'll be plenty greasy when we're done. Okay. Okay, let's try another. All right, I'm gonna stretch them out a little bit because I think they're a little short. Okay. Lay it on there. Wrap it over. Wrap it over. And we're gonna call it. All right, I'll do two more for you and then we'll pause and see the finished product ready to go in the oven. Remember, don't lose any cheese. All right. And these are going to be good. It's almost a shame I have to wait two whole hours for them to cook. All right. I will get the rest of these finished and we'll show you how it looks. There's no way it could be bad. It's got bacon and cheese in it. What do we do with the rest of the bacon then? Because I see we don't haven't used the whole pound. Right. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do with the rest I of the bacon? I don't know. I guess we could... Uh, cook it. 
cook it. And mm. this would be done before that, so we could eat a half a pound of bacon then before we waited for our bacon crackers. So would you go over the ingredients list again for our viewers? Sure. Now we're using metrics, so we're going to use a teaspoon <laughs> right. of Parmesan per single cracker. Okay. And we're going to kind of mound it over, make sure it's nice and tight. I hear more Parmesan is better than less, so make sure you got a full teaspoon. So it's got crackers, that's, that, that's one ingredient, correct? Club crackers, yes. Club crackers, okay. Mm -hmm. And then the second ingredient is Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Okay. Yeah, and this is what is this grated Parmesan? Right, not shredded. It's grated. This is yeah. Let's hide the brand here. This is <laughs> grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay. And then uh, there's a couple more ingredients, right? What's the uh -huh. next ingredient? Uh, bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Okay. Classic pork, cut. You don't pork want... belly bacon, pork right? Pork belly. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And well, because uh, over in Europe, they use, uh, if you go buy bacon, it looks like ham, I think, or something. Right, it's definitely not like Canada's style of bacon. Right, Canadian bacon's like ham, too. Right. It Unless you're Canadian, fat. then it's like bacon, but if you're in the States... I wonder if they call it Canadian bacon still in Canada. I, in Canada, <laughs> right. Where is Canada at? I think it's north of us. I'm not sure, though. You'll have to ask... Uh, Who's the guy that makes the maps? I don't know. Magellan? But I do think we all should probably look that up and try and find out where Canada is. Canada is, right. And then what bacon looks like in Canada. Right. And and then we could also, you know, that country over there that's really just a an island. What is that called? Um Um Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's correct. Um Or maybe this, it's um uh Ireland. Isle, Isle of Wales? Well, no. Gr Great Britain? Great Britain. Yeah, Great that's Britain. Like, that's I... it. I wonder what bacon looks like in Great Britain. I've seen pictures. It's not very bacony. Okay. But <laughs> Don't, I... They eat a lot of fish and uh, chips, right? Oh, that stuff's amazing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like fish and chips. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I've got one left to do, and this piece of bacon's weak, so I'm going to cut another. Okay. Well, you want to try to double wrap one and see what happens? Oh, no. I think that'll be a little too much. Now, there's no such thing as too much bacon, but I think it'll be too much cheese for the amount of bacon we have. Okay. <laughs> so, one last one. All now, right. if we like these, we can make more. So maybe we want to save the bacon for the second batch. For the second batch. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, if we like them a lot, we probably ought to start the second batch halfway between when these are done. Right. So, mm -hmm. so now there was a... Now, we don't eat them like this, right? No. Okay. So we're going to put these in a in a heated oven or a preheated oven? Um, I'm going to... Well, okay. So technically, uh, it says preheat on the oven. However... There's no such thing as a preheating. There's only a heating. You don't go from not heated to preheated. So and who manufactured that oven? That's Kenmore. Kenmore actually believes that you can preheat. Okay. So we're gonna go with that. Okay. Yeah, Betty Crocker does preheat on with her stuff too. So. All right. Well, is your oven heated? Yes, it is. What's the temperature again? Two hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Two hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Right. And we're what is that in Celsius? Uh, I don't know. There's a conversion table on Google. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take our buttery Parmesan bacon things, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go ahead and slide them in the middle rack of the oven. Okay. Which my oven is not set to. So let's change the rack. Here. Don't touch the rack without anything on the buffers. Good piece and, of advice. Uh huh. Yeah, because I don't want to burn today. Go around, push it to the back so it stays warmer back there. All right. And now we're gonna set a timer for not one, not one and a half, but two whole hours. That sounds great. Okay, and we're just gonna let it come. I'm gonna come check it in about an hour and probably turn it around. Okay. As to cook evenly, since I don't have a convection oven. There we go. Two hours. We are good to go. All right. So we'll see you in two hours then. Yeah, we'll see you in two hours. No, we'll see you in an hour when I do the turn. All righty. Okay. <laughs> it's been a little over an hour. Let's see how our things look. Oh, you forgot your apron there. Oops. Okay. There you go. They are supposed to be half cooked. They're pretty good so far. Half cooked, huh? Uh-huh. All right. 
Yeah, I can't wait to test these guys. Is it mm. even warm? Oh, it's don't. You'll burn okay. yourself. There we go. Oh, those are nice and gooey. Oh, oh. yeah, that's nice. It's going to be good. Here, let's see. Can you guys identify that it's movie? <laughs> oh, Can you see that? There you go. Yeah. Gooey. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> okay. All right. They're going back in the oven. For another hour. Another hour. Yep. All right. Thanks, YouTube. It's been an... Oh, look. We have a guest at the door. Hello, guest. Come on in. Tim, you made it. Oh, God. No. Tim, come on in and enjoy. Put that freaking thing I, down. I have something for you, Tim. You need to try. Yeah. The My bacon thingies. They're the holiday bacon something. Bacon something. It's horrible, obviously, because Don didn't eat very many of them. They just came, they out, just out, of came out of the oven. Please, try one. On try camera. one. Come on camera. You're going to post this. Taste one. Come on, they're good. I had to cook them. They're good. They got mm -hmm. cinnamon and um, oats. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> Try it. No. Bacon and cinnamon. No, there's no cinnamon in it. <laughs> it's Parmesan. It's Parmesan cheese. Tell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So make sure you make your bacon something for all your holiday parties. <laughs> Thanks for watching, YouTube. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>